Okay guys, here we go. Today we are doing another kids yoga play, but we are going to incorporate art and a little bit of improvisation, which means when you kind of make it up as you go. All right, you guys ready? Got it. Okay, so you need three pieces of paper and some crayons or colored pencils or anything that you can do art with. Keep it simple. Or not necessarily three pieces. You need one piece per person practicing. Thank you, Lincoln. Yeah. Okay? One piece of paper per person, crayons, and a positive attitude. Yeah. Here we go. Let's stand up. First, we're going to warm up our body. So you guys face me. Ever you're right here. Lincoln, you're right there. Okay, everybody can see each other. Here we go. We're going to start with our head. Okay. So we're going to drop ear to shoulder, back and forth. Ears look good. Okay, so you want your body to be nice and strong. So your legs and your belly, everything is nice and strong so you can just focus on your head. And then here we go, chin forward, head drops forward, and back, like a big yes. Back and forth, and back and forth, nice and controlled. And then Whoa. pause back up through center, and pick one direction for head circles. Now look at me ever, I'm only moving my head and neck, I'm not I'm moving my whole body. Okay, head and neck moves. And then pause and switch. Go the other direction. All the way around. Okay, good. So moving just our head and neck. And then freeze. Come back through center. Shoulders up and drop. Shoulders up, drop them. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Starting off slow. Control. And then we can speed it up. Speed it up and speed it up and That's speed it up. Really okay, here we go. Elbows together. Palms together. And let's try to spin out our wrists. Just for a moment. Yep, interlace your fingers and then freeze and go the other way. Warming up all of our joints. I don't either. Just make it up. Okay, ready? And then drop our arms. Take it off. Take it. Get rid of it. Here we go. Anything that's distracting you, get rid of it. Shake out your arms. Shake out your art hands. Lincoln, back up a little. You're kind of in our space a bit. And then hands on our hips. Here we go. Hip circles. Slow first. It's like my butt. <laughs> okay, moving your hips, moving your butt. Okay, and then the other direction. Warming up our hips. Oh, and then how about side to side? Side to side and side and side and side and side. Faster, 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 faster. Freeze. Hands on our knees. Bring your feet right underneath your knees and under your hips so they're not too wide and they're not too narrow. <laughs> and then just bouncing. Bounce and a bounce and a bounce and a bounce and a bounce. Sure. However you can do it the best way. I jump. Okay, jump. Jump in and jump and jump and jump and jump and then control your body. Ready? Watch this. Stand up, hands on your hips. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Okay? Hands on your hips. Not too far because then you can't get seen on the camera. Heels up. Heels drop. Then we're going to do one at a time. Heels up. Heels drop. So stay with this first. Get them both up. Try to stay slow and controlled in the beginning. Now watch me. One heel up and then switch. And switch. I know and that. switch. Try to go slow at first and then speed it up. So you make sure you're getting it right. Okay? And then freeze. And then you're going to flip your toes. Give your toes a little stretch. Oh, if you're on concrete, it doesn't feel that great. And then other side. Flip your toes. Okay. Ready? Stretch your arms up. What are you trying to say? The washing machine. Oh, the washing machine. Lincoln really wants to do the washing machine. Hands down. Touch your toes. Hands up to the sky, and then show us the washing machine. I mean. Okay, moving our body like this. Arms around, ooh, that does feel good. It hurts the back of my arm. When you, I, I, okay, don't go so far. If it starts to hurt, if anything ever hurts, you're probably pushing it too far. You gotta listen to your body, okay? Do it so it doesn't hurt. You never wanna have pain, pain, okay? And then coming back, let's do this one again. Big stretch up, down to our toes. Big stretch up, listen to our knees. Big stretch up, listen, hips. Up, shoulders, up, belly. Good listening, up to our heart. Up, top of the head, give it a little massage. Relax and calm, <laughs> arms it's up. like you're shampooing your hair. It was like shampooing your hair. Hands together in prayer. Touch the space between your eyebrows. Touch your mouth, touch your throat, touch your heart, touch your belly, and then release your hands down. Let's get our piece of paper. Okay, so we're gonna get our piece of paper and the crayons come in the center.
center. Okay, here we go. It doesn't really matter whose is whose. The first thing you're going to do is you're just going to pick a color. It doesn't matter. And you're going to write your name on your paper. I'm writing your name. Write your name on your paper. No, oh, I'm writing your name. Well, that's a silly thing to do because it's your paper. So it should have your name on it. But if you really want to write my name, go ahead. Okay? Okay, here we go. Now, here's what we're going to do with this paper and with our bodies. We are going to come up with an animal. Okay, I hope you're listening. We're going to come up with an animal. Can you set your paper down and listen up so you know the instructions? Okay, come over here back to your side. You're going to come up with your animal. In your body, you're going to make a shape of what that animal looks like. Listen, guys, you're going to come up with an animal and a shape in your body of what that animal looks like. Ever. Do you have your animal and what the shape in your body your animal looks like? Our fan is blowing our papers all over, so we're going to go like this. Nope. Here we go. Go ahead. Say it again, Ever. A humpback wheel. A humpback wheel. Let's all do it. Everybody get in your humpback wheel. Okay. Arms down. Hips up. Knees forward and then drop your head back. Stay. Let's breathe. Three counts. One. Breathe it in. Blow it out. Breathe it in. Two. Lift your butt higher. Blow it out. And three. Lift your butt even higher. And take a break. Sit all the way down. Very good. Let's draw it. Now, does it have to look exactly how it, how it looked in our bodies? No. Just draw whatever you feel like a humpback whale looks like. It could be the shape that your body was in, or it could be an actual whale. And you're only going to take... Are you drawing the actual whale? I'm just drawing the shape our body was in. <laughs> okay, do it. Whatever you want. You can add details. You can add colors. You can add a smile. Okay. Remember like when the humpback whale looks like that thing? Yeah, the humpback whale does have that. It's the gills. Do gills? Are there gills on a humpback whale? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Is that you? Yeah. Humpback whale. No, Jump. me. Don't worry so much about what anybody else is doing, but get something on your paper. I want to do like this. Sure. Go ahead, Ever. Humpback wheel. Yeah. I'm going to draw the actual piece. Okay. We're going to take a little bit more time. Ever, if you feel like just drawing colors on your paper, you don't have to draw anything necessarily. It could just be colors. That's called abstract art. When you don't necessarily make a picture that's realistic, like an actual whale that Lincoln did or the shape that I did in a body, if you just want to put colors and shapes or whatever your imagination creates, that is perfect too. Okay, a little bit more time. Add your colors. Okay. All right, now we're going to move to Lincoln's. Are you finished with your humpback whale color? Not yet. Let's add one more color. I want to add a lot of colors. We can always add more at the end, but we got to get through our other animals. Okay, I already did it. Okay, Lincoln's going to do his shape. Do you know what your animal is? Yeah. What's your animal? Sloth. A sloth. Okay, show us the shape of your animal. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Ever, you got to try this. So you're balancing feet together, feet together. And arms like this. Like, are you trying to climb yeah, trees? Climb tree. <laughs> do sloths climb trees or do they just sleep all day? They climb trees. Everyone, show us your sloth. So, our feet pressed together. Wow, this is a big core workout. Right in my core. Whoa! Get your balance. Let's breathe. One, breathe it in, blow it out. Number two, breathe it in, legs higher. Breathe it in, blow it out. We'll get your balance. <laughs> And release. Let's draw it. Let's draw those sloths. However it feels to you in this moment, what does the sloth feel like? I'm going to draw like spirals because my core was on fire when I was doing that. Good. You should do whatever you want to do. What color orange was that? I mean... You can borrow it. It was this blue. So drawing what the sloth felt like or what it looks like or anything that your brain wants to put on the paper for a sloth. Get all your colors on there. Your yoga art masterpiece. Okay, and we got one more to do. We got mine to do. Okay, 
Last color, put it on. Sloppy. Lincoln has a stuffed animal named Sloth <laughs> that he sleeps with every single night, so it doesn't and surprise me. And he's a baby because he sleeps with animals, but I am too. I don't think babies sleep with animals. <laughs> I think anybody can sleep with an animal. Yeah. Okay, here we my go. My mom does. I got one. I got my animal. It's in my brain. From me. Yep. Here we go. Ready? Listen up. You better watch. Peacock. Our last one is the peacock. <laughs> yep. Because we practiced this once before we filmed it. Here we go. Let's stand up. Let's do our peacock. Ready? One foot out. No. Okay, you're going to miss out. Okay. One foot balances. And then I'm going to put my hands on my head. Whoa. Now, I'm not moving. I'm not moving yet. I'm not moving yet. you got to get your balance and hold it. And then we got to switch. Other leg comes up. Try not to move. Try not to move. Challenge yourself. Then you can take it and you can move it. Balance around. Okay? Ready? Go back to your place. Draw your feet up. Okay, wait, wait. Let me finish mine. Stop me. Nope, you can do that after the video. So go ahead and do your peacock so we can get our three animals on our paper. Peacock. Whatever a peacock feels to you in this moment. Here we go. I'm drawing a real one. Okay. Same. I did too. Okay. Now we can always add details to these after this video ends. So for now, we're just going to put a couple more colors on there. Add your color, add your peacock actually, details. I'm actually not going to do the real one. Okay, you don't have to. You can always change your mind halfway through. And then we're going to show the camera and each other our final project for now. Okay? Everybody get ready. Lincoln, you ready? Yeah. Okay, hold it up. Show each other your masterpieces. Show us. Try that again without making so much noise in your body. Show the camera. Lincoln. Come back over here, Lincoln. Set it down. Come over here, Lincoln. Set it down. We're going to get on our knees. We're going to finish up. We're going to finish up. Ready? On your knees, face me. On your knees in the circle, face me. Hands together, right at our heart. I just should do that to Mommy, can we do this after the video? Yes, we can. Ready? Hands together and pranam in front of the heart. Reach the arms up, hands back to the heart. I'm grateful for you guys for doing mm -hmm. yoga and art. Okay, mm -hmm. hey, please. Can we finish without rushing ahead? Can I do grapefruit? <laughs> Is that another pose? No. We can do. Maybe we'll do fruit in our next video instead of the animals. We'll do fruit shapes. Okay, get back to your knees, please, Lincoln. We're finishing up our video. I will do the orange. Okay, that was a preview for the next video. Eyes on me, on your knees. Hands together in pranam or prayer, okay. being grateful for each other, always finishing. Always, I'm going to ignore you, Lincoln, because I'm going to try to finish this video in a positive way. Always being grateful for each other and the efforts that we do in our yoga and our art, being proud of one another, for being vulnerable and doing stuff that doesn't always feel that great. Okay, thanks for the kiss. Love you guys. Reach the arms up, bowing forward into our art, and say namaste. namaste. namaste.